Today, I'm gonna be building my own custom PC on buildredux.com. So we're on buildredux.com and they have this amazing website where like you could essentially buy a good, better, and best option of a pre-built gaming PC. There's no workstations, it's all a pre-built gaming PC. But then they also have this option where you can build your own PC. So that's what we're gonna do, build now. I kind of have high hopes for this in a little bit. So essentially, the objective of today's video is to build a PC that is not only worth the money, but is also not gonna be just like me providing the best of the best on the website. I wanna build something that I would actually potentially use. I'm not gonna buy anything, but I'll be used. So we have Warzone, we have Fortnite. I nope. don't play Apex, what other games? Oh, that's really it. And then it allows you to pick your screen resolution between 1080p and 1440p, so 2K. So it says budget or you can do next. So. We have good, better, and best. It seems like the way this is working out is a matter of it being able to be used by like a four year old. So we're gonna choose best because that's genuinely what I want is best, not better. Okay, so wait, is this not just the same? Wait, this is literally just the same PC that, what? This is just the same PC if it was just the better version. Hold up, so customize I guess, okay. Oh yeah, so this is where you can actually customize this. Dude, you're gonna tell me a 1650 is $1,150. How does that make any sense? But then a GeForce 3050 is less than that? Oh, that's a GTX, the RTX is nicer. So realistically, I'm gonna go with a 3080. That's what I would normally go with, not a TI, because I don't need a titanium core, there's no point in that. So now, a processor. I want no less than an i7. So, they have an i7 12700K, but I feel like I wanna go Ryzen this time, because I have an i7 9700K. So let's go with the, a Ryzen 7 this time. Let's go there. Okay, memory. So. You don't need 32 gigabytes of DDR4 RAM, so I'm gonna go with 16 gigabytes. I have 32 right now, I can always add that in later for a lot cheaper than 80, so we're not gonna even go to 32. Storage, so let's go with, yeah, I would say one terabyte, because I don't think I need anything. Uh, oh, okay, so you could pick between just an SSD or an SSD with hard drive. So let's go with one terabyte of SSD and two terabytes of hard drive space. Oh, and you can actually pick two terabytes. Oh, that's sick. We're not gonna do that, that's overkill. We're gonna do one terabyte of SSD and two terabytes of hard drive. So then Windows 11. Um, okay, so Windows 10, well, if that's the same price, I'm just gonna go with Windows 11. Okay, so apply changes, okay. So we have the Ryzen, yes, okay, but see, this is what I can't understand. Why can't I change the liquid cooler though? So let's go back to customize. Huh, so I can only change the graphics processor, memory storage, so basically the main things I can only change. So it's literally just common sense for like a four year old to use. Okay, we're just gonna say apply changes again. So I don't know, that's kind of surprising that I couldn't change the motherboard. I don't know if that motherboard's good or not. It has a nice power supply, 850 watts, nice GPU that I picked out, CPU I picked out. Hey, this is a nice setup. Look at that. $2,400, $2,500. So if you guys remember from last video when I did the whole reviewing of the pre-build series, the pre-build better version, or like the best version, was almost $2,800 I believe, or $2,700, it was a lot more. So not only did I get better stuff with customizing my PC, but it was also cheaper. That just goes to show that if you build your own PC, whether it's somebody else building it or it's yourself building it, you're gonna end up saving a lot of money. So now I'm back on the page Page where you can pick out the games that you want to have and then whether or not your screen resolution is 1080p or 1440p or 2k so what I want to do is actually go to budget and then I want to see starting at $2,800 or $2,900 so essentially I saved for almost like $400 actually I saved $400 at Pretty sure I can't remember the price that I did with the pre-build that I built myself but you can see that the one that you get for $2,900 is not it so budget let's go next okay is that it is that really all it is 
Oh, that is. So it just brings you to the original state of what it has in there. So, guys, the thing is, what I'm trying to say here is that obviously you can see that just because you buy a pre build doesn't mean it's going to be good. Now, granted, the one that I've got from Digital Storm, it's a really nice PC. It has a great set of main components to it. I'm not saying that this one here isn't good, but for the price, it just doesn't match up with the stuff that you're getting. My personal opinion, you don't need a titanium core GPU. It's just not necessary, especially with some of the games, especially that I was playing like Modern Warfare and Fortnite. Like you just don't need that kind of stuff. 32 gigabytes of DDR4 RAM, you don't need. An i7-12700K, I just personally went with the Ryzen because I really wanted to change it up because Intel's processor is uh, it's a good processor. It's just not for me. You're either Intel or you're Ryzen. That's really that's what it comes down to. So when filming this video, I actually surprised myself in the fact that they don't have that much customization to their PC. Like you, you can't choose your power supply, you can't choose this and that, but don't get me wrong. Like when I go to Digital Storm or when I go to NZXT, like a bigger brand like that, I can customize everything, even down to like tiniest specs. So say if I want RGB like full white, I can't do that on here. So what they have done is kind of a good and bad scenario where you can only customize the main components, which honestly it makes sense because it can be overwhelming for a new PC buyer to say, oh, I want all this customized versus I just want these three things customized or four things or five things customized. So it does make it easier for the user and for a new PC builder. But at the same time, PCs, if you're spending that amount of money, you want to make sure that you're getting everything that you really want versus just half-assing the job and allowing somebody to do it for you. So in my personal opinion, I don't really like the whole fact that they're pre-built PCs. They're kind of garbage. The custom PC, like the one that I built on today's video, at least that one was able to be docked down in price have better components in it and not have overkill components so you can judge it based off of this video and my reaction anyways guys thank you so much for watching subscribe if you're new and um leave a comment on what you want to see next from me whether it be a tech review or a vlog thank you guys so much for watching peace